Hey everyone, this is Anna. Thought I'd pop on tonight um, and just share a couple things with you. I'm just sitting here at my desk um, enjoying some tea um, before bed and um, noticed a few things that I um, hadn't shared with you yet. So I thought I'd hop on and do that. Um, first of all is this card here. This is made with two new or three new um, stamps from Impression Obsession. This is the Sunflower Stamp and the Small Sunflower Stamp and then the Sentiment uh, Choose Kindness. Um, so this is just a beautiful card um, that was made using new images from Impression Obsession. And the images are stamped on watercolor paper and then I used uh, watercolor pigments to color them and uh, give them kind of a splashy uh, look there. I think it turned out really beautiful. So I'm going to enjoy sending that out to a friend. Um, I picked up some stamps off of eBay recently. I picked up this one here. It's from Inky Antics and it has this cute little snowman angel with a chicken on her head. I thought how perfect. <laughs> Two of my favorite things. Snowmen and chickens. So I think it's funny that the snowman is actually holding flowers. <laughs> well, I guess it could be true here. We have gotten snow in until Easter and the daffodils will certainly be blooming by then. So, but I thought that was cute. And then I also picked up this one. It was actually in a lot. These two were together. Um, so this one uh, came as well. And this one is from Dots, which is the, um, I think Dots was Stampin' Up before they were Stampin' Up. And this one is called Large Joyful Snowman. It's really a large stamp, very cute. And then it, they also came with these little itty bitty ones. Here's this really small little stocking. Um, this one says 1998 on it. And this is probably from the same set and this little teeny tiny tree. And this little teeny tiny snowman. So really cute. And none of them have been used. I don't even think this one has been used. Nope, well maybe. It's really clean though, so, but real cute. I think that one has been used, yeah. <clears throat> Oops. Um, and then I also picked up this stamp off of eBay. This is from Stamp Passions and it's called Hen Party. Look at her little funny face. That's my hair in the, well, I was gonna say that's my hair in the summertime, but it's my hair all the time. <laughs> And then she's got two little hens down by her dress and she's got baskets behind her. So real cute. And then um, another thing that I have to share with you is this beautiful card that I received from my friend Gabby. Gabby with an I. Thank you so much, Gabby. This is gorgeous. Um, you're gonna have to leave a note down below and tell us how you did this. I th think you used watercolor, black watercolor paper, which I've never seen before in person. So this is uh, interesting if that's what it is. And then I can't decide what shimmer products you used um, to do the heart stamping. Um, so you'll have to let us know. This is just gorgeous. I love the pearlescent colors on the black paper. It's so pretty. And then on the back, uh, you have left your embossed little signature there. Insignia, signature, insignia, initials. I don't know what that's called, but it's beautiful and it's embossed perfectly, of course. And then the note you left inside was very nice. Thank you so much. So thank you for the beautiful card. And I have one other thing I wanted to share with you. It's not really all that crafty, but I think um, I think most of you, or some of you anyways, would be interested in it. Um, I know how the primitive style is a favorite of most of ours, or a lot of ours. And so I just wanted to share this magazine that I've been getting for, for years. Um, it's called A Primitive Place. Here, let me get some of this stuff out of the way here. So the magazine is called A Primitive Place. And it's all about primitive living, primitive home decor. Um, they all have some recipes in it. Um, uh, sometimes there'll be like craft items, dolls and things like that, um, handmaids, handmade goods. And then all the, um, the ads in it, what I really like about it is there are very few ads, but all the ads in it are specific to the lifestyle. Um, so they're all, you know, relevant. Um, so here's a recipe in this month's magazine. Um, they have primitive furniture, 
um, home decor they show. They'll um, do tours of homes of in the primitive style that can be either like true primitive homes, 100 years old homes, or even newer homes that people have um, embraced the primitive decor style in and uh, they share um, those kinds of things as well. So I just thought maybe you guys would be interested in this magazine. Um, it's a beautifully done magazine and it's it comes wrapped in a plastic um, so it comes very nice every month and uh, it's just really beautifully done so and it just gives you all kinds of inspiration for home decor and um, the Christmas um, Christmas magazines are probably my favorite uh, but I don't know just cute little ideas love this little quilt ladder here and um, you know some of the some of the furniture in the homes it, they uh, incorporate newer furniture um, with the old furniture the old decor style and so it just gives you lots of little um, I don't know inspiration and uh, I don't know it's just nice nice to see people appreciating this type of lifestyle and decor and having a magazine that um, presents it really also beautifully. So see she's got her washing and dryer here but she's got her whole laundry room decorated with really fun antiques. So anyway I just thought I would share it with you because you might be interested in it and maybe not one you've um, heard of before and um, I enjoy it every month that it arrives. Actually it's not even monthly it's seasonally. I think it's four times a year. Yeah. So, um, but it's, it is a really beautiful magazine. So, um, and I think that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your evening and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.